this is a presentation of a case study of super high rise building of about 250 meters fire protection system this is based on national building codes requirement part 4 260 to introduce with following are the project informations the building total height is 286 meter and it is consisting of two towers with the different building building features those are residential floors refuse floors service floors fire check floors parking floors and club house the fire fighting system is provided with automatic sprinkler system water curtain system wet riser internal hydrant system external hydrant system and fire extinguishers the project is having a total built up area of of 1,900,000 square feet and the total height of the building of 296 meters the codes referred for the design of this building are following to the national building code 2016 nfp local bylaws indian standards which are covering the installation of sprinkler system hydrant system external hydrant system and the references from the tariff advisory committee tech fire protection manual the automatic sprinkler systems design criteria were followed or as per following and the typical areas which are having the parking area residential area kitchen area amenities and club house services areas and the common areas parking areas having ordinary hazard residential area is light hazard kitchen area is designed light hazard service area is ordinary hazard and the common hazards common areas having light hazard also and the code references following are as per following the area covered by the sprinklers are for parking 12 square meters per sprinklers 21 square meter 21 square meter 12 square meter and the 12 square meter for service area and 20 Well, it's twenty-one square meter for the common areas. Yeah. Continuing 
the design criteria for automatic sprinkler systems are parking area ordinary hazard the sprinklers are placed at 4 by meter by 4 meter grids and the sidewall sprinklers are placed at 3.4 into 3.4 meter and the concealed sprinklers are placed at 4.4 meter grids the lobby residential floors are spaced at 4.5 meter into 4.5 meter grid the hydrant design for the internal areas are provided at typical floors, residential towers, podium, parking area and the basement floors. In typical floors, firehouse cabinets are provided at every level in basement and parking area, fire hose are provided at 60 meter spacing which covers generally 1000 square meter area. And the sources of water are through the water tanks and fire pump set. 65 meter dia twin outlet landing walls are provided and with two numbers of wet risers internal hydrant planning are made as per following The internal hydrant and fire hydrant covers typical floors, residential towers, podium, parking area and the basement floors. In the typical floors, firehouse cabinets are provided at every level near a staircase. In basement and parking area, the cabinets are provided at 60 meter distance, which generally covers 1000 square meter areas. Sources of water through the water tanks and the fire pump set. In fire hose cabinet, the followings are provided. 65 meter dia single outlet landing wall, two numbers of 15 meter long hose pipes, and 19 mm dia 30 meter long hose drums, and ABC type 6 kilogram fire extinguisher. External hydrants are covering the external areas. Having this uh, ordinary hazard design, the external fire hydrant shall not be placed more than 65 meters. Accessories provided are 65 meter dia single headed landing wall, two numbers of 15 meter long hose pipes, and the external connection to the external hydrants are provided with fire brigade inlet 
फायर ब्रिगेड आउटलेट एंड सीएमएस कनेक्शन टू द एक्सटर्नल हाइड्रेंट रिंग मेन फायर एक्सटिंग्विशर्स प्लानिंग इज मेड एंड प्रोवाइडेड विद वन ड्राई केमिकल पाउडर फायर एक्सटिंग्विशर्स ऑफ टेन किलोग्राम हैविंग द कैपेसिटी इन इलेक्ट्रिकल मीटर रूम एंड लिफ्ट मशीन रूम two buckets filled with dr two buckets filled with dry clean sand and each parking floor two buckets filled with dry sand in parking floors one dry chemical powder extinguishers at every 100 square meter area in basement and six dry chemical powder type fire extinguishers of 10 kg capacity and four buckets of dry clean sand are kept at each parking floor two numbers wheel mounted dcp of 50 kg and six number sand buckets near substations fire detection and fire alarm planning are made as per following fire alarms design basis and brief are as per the following apartment level and the podium parking level podium level are the following items which are having the fire alarm system multi sensor detectors manual brake glass sprinkler hydrant system flow monitor dedicated fire alarm panels talk back systems and the voice command system for emergency evacuation continuing the fire alarm system the following are provided with the apartment level heat detectors gas leak detectors sprinkler and hydrant system and the talk back system the total head calculation for the fire pumps rs per following low zone after having the summation of the total head requirement and the head losses the total head of fire pumps is 188 meter similarly from basement to 40 second floor the total head requirement 267 meter the pumps installed are multi stage multi outlet pumps for the fire fighting system and this is the summary of the total pump head the low zone and high zones which is 130 meter for low zone and 185 meter for high zone 
the project vertical joining are made in two parts as described here for wing A and wing A1 the part 2 are supplied with terrace overhead tanks for wing A and wing A1 that is 50 kiloliter each that is for high zone and the low zone that is for 40 second floors at intermediate level which is provided for 100 kiloliter and in part A the high zone is having 25 to 41 floors The vertical zonings are provided for wing A and wing A1 that is the high zone and this is the low zone. These are supplied by 50 kiloliters each terrace tanks. For part two and for part one, these two zonings with the high zone and the low zone are supplied from the basement underground tank. These are these zonings. This is also giving a summary of storage tanks for different zones of both the wings. The total water storage tanks capacity computed are as per following. For the sprinkler storage, the tank Capacity is 200 li cubic meter for hydrant storage, 340 cubic meter, and for drenching system, it's 171 cubic meter. The total accumulated capacity comes to 713 cubic meters actual capacity provided is 700 cubic meters. This is a slide showing the storage tank schedule which are self-explanatory over here giving the details of the areas served that is what we see over here and these are the number of pumps provided to supply to different zones and different services like 
sprinkler system, hydrant system, water curtain systems, etc. And these are the detail of pump room at 42nd floor at the intermediate level. The pumps are installed at the basement as well as at the intermediate level and supplying the water to the zones of both the buildings as explained earlier. Thank you very much for listening.